What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what the exhaust sounds like in negative weather. We finally hit the negatives in Minnesota. The only good thing is that it makes the car sound louder, but just a mid muffler delete and then uh, we'll see what we do today. So let's get this video started. back to normal 23 degrees outside so uh, we need to drive the car a little bit just to get the tire pressure up but yeah so let's head out to this car wash we definitely need to clean i'll show you guys what the car looks like before because man this salt is just killing me but you guys know we gotta put it in custom before we head out of here all right guys so we finally made it to quick trip i got my shams right here this is one over here County Road 5. If you live in Minnesota, that's where it's by. It's a new one. It's touchless, but man, look how bad the car is. For sure needs a wash. It's embarrassing. I promised myself I would never do this, but it wasn't really my fault. Dodge has me messed up. They made me go to the dealership. Could have rescheduled, I guess, but but anyways, yeah, we have our, I have the armor all. I always do this before I put it in the wash, but it's just to help. Hopefully it doesn't freeze up. I don't think it will though. It should work. This definitely helps though. I would recommend doing this before you take your car to the wash. This is a touch free wash, so it won't damage the paint. We have nothing to worry about anyway, because um, we have the, what do you call it? The clear wrap around the car, so it's fine. We'll get this one too. It's horrible. All this salt. Man, I hate it. God, that just makes me, I don't know, makes me feel some type of way. This one, yeah, it's it's been two weeks, unfortunately, since I've been able to wash it, but I mean, it's all right. Didn't really do much about it, it was like in the negative, so I had to sit for two weeks. I mean, I couldn't really wash the car, it was way too cold to wash it, so now I finally got a chance to wash the car, but like I said, it's, the car has protected on it so well, not worried about the paint being damaged or anything like that the only thing that i hate is the ice um when it's like slushy and it freezes right here i hate that because i was driving and a huge chunk of ice fell i had to stop pull over all right guys well something unfortunate happened get bustle so let me try to see if i can get the other side so, not a good idea to drive your car in the winter. And it's like, what, negative six right now? <laughs> and he hasn't really driven it a lot in the ice, but it's stuck on there. And like, look at this chunk right here. Look at that. He threw another one over there. God, it's so cold. I'm gonna stop recording. <laughs> but ah, watch out if you're gonna drive up your freaking, if it's a wide buddy or not, watch out. Looks like it's working pretty well right now. I mean. You guys saw this in my previous video um, when I, I showed a short clip of how to how I clean my wheels at least but yeah and this is just so bad look <laughs> jeez look at the RT the badge is just horrible well we're gonna get it washed and taken care of today so it looks like we have a line hopefully the wait won't be too long So shout out to my brother, he's the one who told me to try this car wash out. He said it's brand new, and it is because this gas station was just built not too long ago. But 10 bucks, not bad, and it washes under the car. 
just because we want to make sure we do that don't want it to start rusting so we got a mopar over there <laughs> what do you guys think of those gladiators same color i think as mine that one's actually a little brighter and looks like it's a little lighter but yeah they got looks like they got custom wheels on it what do you guys think of those i'm kind of iffy about them i mean this one looks kind of cool but um they finally came out with a 392 uh, i think it's a rubicon so comment down below what you guys think about those i'm excited to see what um you know what they can do Alright guys, so we're going to throw some E85, just messing with you, um, but I don't know, we had some other issues with the 91 again, I, I just had bad luck, but um, I don't know what happened, I guess it just didn't want to keep pumping, so it's always the quick trips, I don't know why, I mean it's good quality gas, but anyways, we're going to um, we're gonna get out of here, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video, turn on notification bell, and we'll catch you guys in the next one, thank you for watching.